Hey guys, uh, me here. I'm going to go over something here that people don't really know too much about. Um, this is going to go over the whole AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels thing. Uh, stick with me because this is going to get a little confusing. Uh, I'm going to try to explain this the best way I can. Okay, AJ Styles was originally announced by TNA that he was injured as of January. With the type of leg injury that he has, I I think he really injured it in January, but I think he started to hurt it and aggravate it a couple of months before, to be honest with you. Anyways, doctors told him he would be out for three months. TNA wanted to you know, keep him on TV but not really have him wrestle up until lockdown. Um, AJ Styles said he would be back within a month. AJ did a little bit of wrestling here and there. It wasn't up to snuff. Doctors said that if he wasn't careful, he could be out for anywhere between six to nine months. Recently, AJ Styles took a back and sat there and thought about it. I mean, AJ's really never been gone off TV for very long. He didn't want to injure himself worse. Um, AJ Styles did not get injured from Brother Ray. It did not aggravate the injury more. Um, it's just their storyline for how they've taken him off of TV. He wants to be 100% by Victory Road, which is in uh, July. Or it's not even Victory Road now. Sorry, it's Destination X. Um, because of the fact that Destination X is supposed to be the huge changeover where the X Division gets back TNA. So he didn't want to injure himself any further. So I'm not exactly sure when we'll see him. Um, possibly mid June, early or latest, we'll see is basically Destination X. I could guess it could be a, uh, he could be a mystery partner. I don't know, a mystery guy. Maybe not. Maybe they'd want to advertise him. But anyways, so that goes on to Christopher Daniels. Christopher Daniels had a working agreement with Ring of Honor that he could come back to TNA, but he'd have to stay underneath a mask, and that's why he was brought back as Suicide. When they realized that AJ, well, when AJ realized that he couldn't go on without damaging himself further, um, TNA and Ring of Honor reached some kind of agreement. I'm guessing some type of money uh, was paid to let Christopher Daniels be Christopher Daniels. So Daniels was doing the same thing he was before, applying himself and suicide. The original idea was to have suicide be played by Kaz and Daniels until AJ came back. That idea has been nixed. Apparently what they're doing now is they're taking suicide away until Destination X or until, I'm um, sorry, the pay-per-view in June, which I can't think of right now. My guess, now I'm not saying this is what's going to happen, but my guess is what would happen is Christopher Daniels is going to get quote-unquote fired just before AJ comes back. Actually, I think it'll be just after. I think you'll see AJ and Daniels have a short little run together um, as a tag team. I think you'll see Daniels wind up getting quote-unquote fired, but he'll actually be playing suicide. Um, that is my guess towards that. Um, I, I don't know. There's so many changes now going in TNA. It is a little bit hard to predict, especially since I don't know this new Carter that's taken over. I don't know their mindset, so I can't really predict it that well. Um, at one point, I know they're actually going to bring back Curry Man for one night only, have Daniels play Curry Man, have Kaz play Suicide. Basically, the reason for that was it was going to be one of these things, is everybody knows that Suicide is played by Daniels, or at least it's supposed to. Um, but it, but you know, you know, it's it's been argued who the hell really has been playing suicide. So you know, everybody knows for a fact that Christopher Daniels played Curry Man. So if Curry Man came back, it would be interesting to see Curry Man go against Suicide, and people would be like, oh, I guess it can't be Daniels because Daniels is Curry Man. That that idea isn't happening. It never did happen. It was just a rumor. I think it'd be just weird to make no sense. Why don't you just have Daniels go against Suicide? Do that. They've done it before. Um, so that's the whole idea. Um, it might be Fortune 5 when AJ comes back. I'm not really sure. I'm not even sure how long Daniel's contract is. Um, I did hear a slight rumor that if AJ and Daniels were going to be a tag team partner, that them and Beer Money, 
may have a rivalry and it could lead to some tension and make people think that Fortune's going to split up. But, I mean, that's just hearsay. Um, so, yeah, this whole thing's confusing. So that's why AJ's gone. That's why Daniels is where he is right now. I think Daniels will get fired and he'll actually play suicide. That's my whole thought to that.